In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to create Photoshop hairbrush with default Photoshop brushes along with some custom settings. What's up everyone, I'm Sri from Doodler Sri and if you like this channel, do consider subscribing and hitting the bell button so that you won't miss any update in the future. Okay, so I'm in Photoshop CC 2015 and here as you can see I've already made the palette for uh, the the hair I'm going to make and here I'm renaming this layer and this will be color palette okay so I will take another layer and rename it hair okay so now I will start the process so to do that I will go to brush and for this kind of hair making I am taking a soft brush initially. I have already picked a color from this color palette and just making a block with this one just like as you can see here okay. So now I have renamed another layer to stroke okay so here is a stroke and now I will take the this round fan brush from Photoshop default brush and I will check this to I will select the round fan from the drop down round angle will not do so round fan will do I think uh, yeah round fan okay so I will just play with the bristles little bit so to get the accurate shapes thickness is fine and uh, stiffness is yeah I can play it with little bit as well okay now I'm taking another layer and I'm just starting to paint with other color values I have here so I've I'm taking the next one the next color value and yes I'm painting like this so this hair uh, making process is a very you know long and uh, very detailed process so artists actually spend a uh, lot of time and lot of hours to actually finish and to actually get the actual look so here is this is a quick demo of this tutorial so if you want a better output you have to work on it and spend hours to get the results so here just i'm just showing you the demo of how to make it and you can actually spend more time more perfection so as you can see i'm using the values simultaneously to get the results so make sure and uh, keep that in mind like you have to get a shiny look in the middle of the hair like the in the middle of the shape and both sides should be darker so this is how we will get the look so as you can see I'm doing this and trying some other colors to get the desired results as well so yeah you can play with other value colors also like if you want to get some uh, different shades of hair like this is I have uh, basically I have I'm doing uh, like a blonde shade darker brown or blonde shade you can also play with other texture other color like dark black or maybe light brown as well so yeah so you see like I'm doing it to get the result so 
this is not actually very realistic to get a very realistic look you have to work on it more you have to spend actually hours to do that so i'm just showing you the basic thing and uh, you can do it with photoshop default brush actually so there are many photoshop hair brushes available in the market as well you can go ahead and download it and play with that also you can make your own custom brush so it is basically your own custom brush like uh, you are just giving a little bit tweak to uh, an existing photoshop brush and doing this you can make your own hair brush as well so that's it for today guys i hope you have liked and enjoyed this video and if you have enjoyed this video please like share comment in the comment section and also let me know if you have any better suggestion for this kind of video so be positive be unique be awesome and be creative and till the next time stay tuned